And if I should ever go away Well then close your eyes and try To feel the way we do today And then if you can remember Keep smiling, keep shining Knowing you can always count on Sure, that's what friends are for. The good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. What's up? Archie Beats here, and welcome to my home studio. You all just heard some authentic emulation of the Capitol Studio hand built mastering compressor. Now, first of all, let's give a major shout out to Liz Lieber, who is an extraordinary vocalist that I found on Instagram. And I heard her first, and I was like, wow, what an authentic vocalist. You don't hear this often. And she has a new single out called No Place Like This, and it sounds sounds magnificent. It's vocal rich and it's just an amazing sounding song. So you guys be sure to check that out. And also a huge thank you to the Universal Audio team for sending this to me ahead of time and give me an opportunity to check it out and play around with it. Let's get to it. So what is the Capital Mastering Compressor? Firstly, it is an authentic emulation, the only authentic emulation of Capital Studio hand built mastering compressor. And I had an opportunity to be in the Capital Tower some years back, about a decade ago, I um, had a meeting there had lunch there it was an amazing building virgin records in there it's really cool and it's the same sound used on the catalogs at capital blue note motown verve and more and you guys heard me push the saturation a little bit on liz's vocals now we're going to show you guys exactly what we did as well but you can saturate mix and you have headroom control and you can add color and texture to the recording you have a mono fold mid side features for tightening up low end and expanding stereo width use it with any audio interface and no U8 hardware required. Let's take a look at the screen and let's talk about what we did here. So here are Liz's vocals. We got them kind of maximized here. So what I did was is that when we put it on the master fader, of course it just responds a certain way. We put it on an actual aux track, the auxiliary track. We went with the Hitsville EQ, which is a really cool vintage EQ from the Hitsville we from Detroit up in here. <laughs> well, I'm not from Detroit, but this piece is from the Motown sound here. And we have some EQ dialed in just to give it something overall and run it through like a vintage EQ. That's what we truly, really wanted to do. We are focused on the capital valve compressor here. Let's give it a listen and you guys watch how it responds on the compressor. And then let's talk about what I did and why I did it. And if I should ever go away. Very well. Well then close your eyes and try To feel the way we do today And then if you can remember Keep smiling, keep shining Knowing you can always count on me For sure That's what friends are for the good times and bad times I'll be on your side forevermore Just authentic, man. That's what friends are for. So yeah, as I mentioned, we did the Hitsville EQ, but we went into this compressor. Now we wanted it to compress, but we wanted to really use this compressor for its saturation the capital valve saturation here. And we kept the threshold at negative eight. Now this compressor looks different because it was handmade. It's not a mass market product. It's pretty much was created by the guys, the engineers over there at Capital. So we wanted to, like I said, give it a little compressor, a little saturation, but we also didn't want to go too hard on the ratio of the compressor. So we got it like dialed right in at 12 o'clock up here. The ratio is right there, which will translate into, let me look at my physical compressor here because we were playing this by ear, about 5.1. And the release, we got the release set right here, a little bit over the MF, mid, fast, medium, fast. We're looking at some analog classic stuff here. And then the attack is set to 
medium. I really didn't want to hit her vocals too hard and have the compressor acting slow, but I also didn't want it acting too fast on her vocals as well because we're dealing with the electric piano as well. We're dealing with the Rhodes here and she's playing the Rhodes too. So we ended up with a just an overall nice glue. As far as the shape, we kept the saturation about 55% as you guys can see down there. The headroom didn't touch it at all, but we had the mix all the way up. I didn't really want to deal with the wet and dry parameters because you can do a lot of that stuff with the compressor if you understand how the compressor works. Some people prefer it. They actually know how a compressor works and use the mix and the dry. So this is the sound that we want. If you have any questions, please comment below. It's available natively, no hardware required, or the version that you need in Apollo or a satellite. And um, it sounds fantastic. And be sure to check out Universal Audio. Shout out to Universal Audio for creating another great product. Hey, you guys have been fantastic. Don't forget to be great and create. This is your Barge Beats, and I'm signing off.